What is up people and welcome to another video. I've been working a lot on Linux systems recently and have been spending a lot of times in the terminal and probably like most of you when you work inside the terminal you like to fiddle with the transparency settings just to basically give you more of a, a, a blend on your background in the, inside the terminal and now I've also recently been working a lot inside Visual Studio Code so I've been looking for a way to make Visual Studio Code transparent so in this video I'm going to show you a neat little utility on how to basically hack any kind of window and make it transparent so let's go So in order to achieve transparency, we're going to be taking a look at a little utility called Devil Spy. So Devil Spy performs actions on Windows as they are created. Devil Spy is a program which can detect Windows as they are created and perform actions on them if they match a set of criteria. So I'm going to show you guys a Devil Spy script that I created. We're going to go ahead and look at, look at installing Devil Spy and then achieving transparency on VS Code. And you can use this for any other type of window um, inside of Linux. <laughs> So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up a terminal and install devil spy so you say sudo apt-get install devil spy so i've got that installed already and then you also want to go ahead and install vs code so you can see vs code at the moment has no transparency applied so how do we apply transparency so once you have devil spy installed the first thing you're going to want to do is create a directory a dot folder under your users directory called devil spy so go ahead and create that devil Spy when it starts up will execute devil spy scripts automatically inside of this directory and the next thing we're going to want to do is create the script I will take you through what the script does um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna echo the contents of the script inside of a DS extension file called VS code underscore transparent dot DS so I'm gonna go ahead and copy this and I'm just gonna paste it in the terminal and that will create a script so if I go ahead and go inside of that script, so just go into the editor, let's take a look at that. This is the magic. So whenever Devil Spy starts up, it'll execute the script. So the first line basically says, find a window class called code. This is Visual Studio Code's window class. And then this two lines of magic is what achieves the transparency. Now I'm not a professional in this, so I have no idea exactly what these lines do but the key thing is it applies transparency on this window class code so you could replace this with like any other app um, and it will achieve transparency with that so i got code in here and then the last bit that's very important is this number here which is the opacity in hex so with our script in place all that we want to go do now is run devil spy so just go ahead in the terminal and type devil spy and with that we've achieved our transparency so visual studio looks all nice and fresh now you're probably wondering how do i set the levels of transparency and this took me quite a while to figure out because it wasn't straightforward so i've actually gone ahead and simplified this quite a lot with a little formula that i worked out so let's go ahead and take a look at that so the first thing you want to go ahead and do is pick a number from from 1 to 100 now the lower the number the more transparent it'll be so if you take 25 it'll be super transparent if you go up to like 85 it'll be slightly less transparent at the moment this window is set to about 85 transparency so let's take a look if i take 225 um, transparency as a percentage what i want to go ahead and do is take this number and then multiply it by 255 don't ask me why this is what i figured out <laughs> and then divide it by 100 and take this number and then what you want to go ahead and do is go to binaryhexconverter.com and paste the number in the decimal value section and that'll convert the number over to a hexadecimal value so 3f and then what you want to go ahead and do is go back into that um, ds file and you want to rip you want to delete the last two characters after the zero first zero x so we have zero x d8 so we're going to get rid of d8 and we're going to put our value there so our value was 3f and then go ahead and save that and then what you want to do is run devil spy again and notice VS Code's um, transparency become a lot more transparent. So that's 25. So the closer you go to zero, the more transparent it'll be. 
So let's take that now back to 85. So the formula is 85 multiply by 255 divide by 100. That gives us our number. We copy that number. We head over to binary hex converter, um, paste it in, hit convert, and this time we get D8. What I wanna go ahead and do is go back to our script and replace the last, the, the, the two values after the zero X with D8. Go ahead and save that and then run Devil Spy again. And notice it's a lot less transparent. So you can use that formula to kind of um, achieve a transparency level that you're satisfied with. So that's it for this video. Hope this helped you achieve your transparency goals in Linux. And if you liked the video, be sure to like and subscribe. And let me know down in the comments what sort of content you'd like me to cover in the future. And until next time, peace. This is